In this video, we're going to be going over the following problem. These two circles have the same center. What is the area of the shaded region? I'll have the link to where I found this problem in the description below. And with that being said, let's jump right into the solution. To begin, let's draw a line segment that passes through this blue point and this cyan point, which is the center of both circles. Notice that we now have two chords within our circle, one in pink and one in dark red that intersect at this dark blue point right here. Let's call the pink chord AB and the dark red chord CD, and let's call the blue point at which they intersect E. Now because we have these two intersecting chords within our circle, we can apply the chord chord theorem. I'll have a proof for the chord chord theorem linked in the top right of the screen right now, so check that out if you're interested. But essentially what the chord chord theorem says in this case is that the length of line segment AE times the length of line segment EB is equal to the length of line segment CE times the length of line segment ED. We know line segment AE is of length 10, and that line segment EB is of length 5 plus 10, so 15. But now what about the length of CE and ED? Well, for starters, we know that the length from point D to the center of both circles is just the radius of the outer circle. Let's call that uppercase R. And similarly, we know that the line segment from point E to the center of both circles is just the radius of the inner circle, which we can call lowercase r. And if we consider line segment CE, well its length is just the radius of the outer circle, which is uppercase r, minus the radius of the inner circle, which is lowercase r. So now if we return to our equation based on the chord chord theorem, we know the right hand side is going to be CE, which is uppercase R minus lowercase r, times ED, which is uppercase R plus lowercase r. Now if we start with the left hand side of this equation, 10 times 15 is 150, and if we multiply out the right hand side, we get uppercase R squared minus lowercase r squared. So we have the equation 150 is equal to uppercase r squared minus lowercase r squared. But how does this help us? How can we use this information to find the area of the shaded region? The area of the shaded region, which I'm going to abbreviate as a sub sr, is nothing but the area of the outer circle, which is pi times uppercase r squared, minus the area of the inner circle, which is pi times lowercase r squared. If we factor out the pi from both terms in this expression, we get the area of the shaded region is equal to pi times uppercase r squared minus lowercase r squared. Recall that we found out using the chord chord theorem that uppercase r squared minus lowercase r squared is equal to 150, so we know the area of the shaded region is going to be pi times 150, so 150 pi. And that's all there is to this problem. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like, and if you want to be notified when I post more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.